This is Alt Space, except it's not running on the go. It's not running on the Rift S either, or even the Vive for that matter. No, this is directly running on the Quest itself. And that's a decent experience. So, how would I pull this off? Now there are three ways of pulling this off. The Go method, the Gear VR method, and an Android phone method. But before I do anything, you'll need to make sure that your Quest is in developer mode. To do this, first go to dashboard.oculus.com and sign in, and then create an organization name. This can be anything you want. Then go into the app and click on settings. Find your quest, then click on more settings. Tap on developer mode, and check out so your device is in developer mode. Then plug your quest into your computer, and then put your headset on to allow your computer to sideload apps. Now on to the three methods. First, we'll start with the go. First, make sure you go as in developer mode by turning it on in the app settings. Then put your headset back on and give your computer permission to interact with it. Then sideload an app extractor. For this tutorial, I'll use ES File Explorer. Yes, I'm well aware of the drama surrounding this app, but I cannot deny how useful it is. Once that's done, go ahead and download Allspace from the Oculus Store if you have not done so already. Then go to ES, tap Apps, then hold down the trigger on the Allspace app and tap on Backup. The APK will be under the Backups folder. The good thing about ES is that if you don't want to plug in your headset, you can transfer the files over via Wi-Fi by tapping on Network and View on PC, and then turning it on. Typing the FTP link into Explorer on your PC or browser, and you'll find the file under Apps, and save it to your PC. Now the Gear VR method is simpler and a little bit cheaper than the Go. Simply open the Gear VR app, search for Alt Space, install it, and use ES File Explorer on your phone to back up the app. What if you have neither and you still want to get Alt Space? Well, if you have an Android phone with Facebook as a system app, well, you can tell us a system app if you can't install it. First, you will need to download the Gear VR app. I'll have a link below on where you can get it. If you want to look it up yourself, the package name is com.oculus.horizon. Once downloaded, log into Facebook, download the app, and then look up and download Alt Space. Then use ES File Explorer to back up the app. Once the app is on your computer, silo it onto your quest, and it'll show up in your unknown sources list. And congratulations, you are now an unofficial beta tester. No, seriously, you aren't supposed to be doing this as the app isn't officially out for the quest. The good thing is that the mods are nice about it, so you probably won't be banned. Now let's take a step back and look at what we've accomplished. Siloading the Go Gear VR version of Wall Space. So what does this mean for siloing other Oculus Go games? <sighs> Almost nothing. Most games end up crashing as soon as it was opened, and some wouldn't even load in. Though if you manage to load in some apps, you are more than likely going to be met with an entitlement error. But I did happen to find a few games that actually run pretty decently. One of them is Smash Hit. Though the quality wasn't that much of a hit. The 3D effect was way off. Temple VR works, but the controls are a bit much to be desired. On the go, you swipe with your thumb, and doing that on the Quest controllers are harder than it sounds. I did get into the groove for a little bit, before meeting my untimely death. So there is that one free app that works perfectly, and that's Sea Hero Quest, a game designed to test your navigational skills, from plotting a path to remembering where you've been. It's a cute little game. What's amazing is that it's a sixth off game. You can walk around the ship and move your hands all around. And a good thing is that it's not alone in terms of six off tracking. Crow, while it wasn't able to play the full movie, used six off tracking in the menu. And even the Oculus Venus tracks you in six off, though you are going to have a bad time with it. When you sit down, you are forced to look beneath the menu. And if you close the menu, you can't bring it up unless you have it out completely. As it stands, Oculus Go games don't really work that well on the Quest. Normally. But there are still some outliers that work exceptionally well. If you do have to sideload a few games, be sure to let others know which one works in the comments below. And as for me, I actually might make a few videos showing what Go games can be played on here. If you like that idea, or have an idea for another video, Let's talk down in the comments. I look forward to what we all have to say.